guys. Hi. Hi. We can't wait for you to come home with a win. All right, well, listen, I'm up against the best of the best, not just in America, in the world. I didn't know it was like against the world. No, don't, he's about to take the stage. Yeah, can you give me a little confidence instead of shooting me down? <laughs> I'm Tom Cotter, I'm a stand-up comic. I'm 55 years old and I was the runner-up on season seven of America's Got Talent. I like to say that stand-up comedy is a dream job if you dream of poverty and rejection, but that's kind of where I was for over 20 years. And every year, someone would say to me, audition for AGT, you're perfect for the show. I'm the youngest in my family. I was always getting beaten up by the two oldest, mom and dad. Oh. I think we found a star, and now I am a big fan of yours. For the better part of 50 years, Donald Duck has been walking around in front of his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, with a shirt on, no pants. I felt like an underdog going on America's Got Talent because no comic had ever made it to the finals. It was just down to me and the Olate dogs. And in my head, I'm thinking, if you win, don't look like an idiot, and if you lose, lose graciously. Olate dogs! And I lost, uh, but I'm okay with it. Are you mad? No, not okay. America's Got Talent, the champions, is my chance to win the whole thing. It's intimidating being judged, especially by Simon Cowell, because he is the judge. I mean, he knows what he likes, and he definitely knows what he doesn't like. But I've been working really hard on this set, and I really think I'm better than I was six years ago. I'm gonna go out, hit a home run, and try to become the winner of America's Got Talent Champions. Welcome, Tom. Thank you very much. You came in second, right? Are you rubbing it in right now? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> it was season seven. Yeah. Who did you lose to? The Olate dogs. But I was the top human finisher that year, I like to tell everybody. <laughs> you were? Yeah. What did this do for your career? Uh, I'm in therapy now. Does that help? <laughs> uh, it's been good. I've been doing a lot of writing, mostly suicide notes, because I lost to a dog act. Uh, <laughs> You've always been one of the funniest guys on the circuit. Only two can go through, and I can't wait to see what you do. Best of luck. Thank you. I'll be back soon, everybody. Where's he going? I don't know. He's a direct competition, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And Tom's somebody I've looked up to for like a long time. taking any chances this time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Simon Growl. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I haven't taught him any tricks yet, so off you go, buddy. There you go. Uh... So, many of you know I was the runner-up on uh, season seven of America's Got Talent, and when you come in second to a dog act in front of 20 million viewers, you really do feel like number two, I'll be honest with you. Uh... <laughs> And people mistakenly think that I don't like animals now. I love animals, they're delicious. But I will say this. Uh, my wife and I are breeders. We have, we have twins. I had always dreamed of having twins. It's just in my dreams they were the Olsen twins in a hot tub. It was different, but this is special, it really is. I'll tell you, twin pregnancy is a brutal pregnancy. First trimester, a lot of vomiting and crying, and my wife was having a tough time too, and then... I was in the delivery room when they were born, and that's amazing. They want to make sure you're not going to pass out in the delivery room. So the doctor said to me, uh, have you ever witnessed childbirth before? And I said, yeah, but it was a long time ago, and it was from the inside. So, uh... <laughs> wow. So, so I, uh... Wow. It's okay. Wow. What was Simon thinking? Oh, man. That cured my Tourette's. That's so tough for a comedian. So I, uh, uh, they're really cute though. We play hide and seek all the time and they can never find me because you gotta be 21 to get into a bar. But they're really cute. 
And they're not the sharpest tools in the shed, and everyone seems to know that. Uh, the town put a sign right outside our house that says, slow children, and that's humiliating. Uh, <laughs> but they make me laugh. Uh, Harry, one of my twins, came home from catechism class, religion class, and he said, Daddy, do we evolve from Adam and Eve? And I said, well, Adam and Eve were first, but then they had kids, and they had kids, and they had kids, and that's how you came to be. And he said, well, Mommy said we evolved from apes. And I said, well, Mommy was talking about her side of the family, but on our side, <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you listening. I hope you had some fun tonight. Thank you. Well, Tom, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the yin and the yang of comedy, and we'll start with the yang. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Uh, unlike some of the people I've really loved, whether it's Preacher Lawson or Vicky recently, who I remember for their personality and being unique and stand out, to me, this was just ordinary. Wow. Yeah, no. I'm really, really sorry. Wow. All right. Uh, I, I totally disagree with of Simon. Course. I totally do. I love your delivery. I love your jokes. I also love that you just continued on after that loud buzzer from Simon Cowell. Oh, that like was really you've never pressed one. Yeah, but not for someone who was really good, so that was totally wrong. I thought it was excellent. Mel? You were quick, you were confident, and the jokes just kept on coming. You did really, 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 really well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. Tom, I, I truly believe you're a champion. I truly believe that you are a very slick, well-seasoned comic. But as many people as love you, there are people that don't like you. But the beauty here is now it's up to those 50 states and those super fans, and if they're laughing, they can vote you through. It doesn't make it any less. It just shows you how tough this competition is. That's true. And, and thank you. And Simon, I understand I may not be your cup of tea. I may make you hate tea. And that's absolutely fine. And I still respect the hell out of you. Thank so, you. Yeah. Likewise. You were good. You were really good. Really good. I'm Vicki Barbalak. I'm from Rancho Calavero Trailer Park in Oceanside, California. And I'm a comedian. I started stand-up comedy like 20 years ago. So when I auditioned for America's Got Talent, I was totally prepared for the buzzer. You know, not the golden one either. Yesterday, I decided I'd go out to Donnelly Men's Prison for a conjugal visit. And, uh, <laughs> and it turns out, at Donnelly, you have to know somebody. When Simon said, Ficke, I usually don't love stand-up comedy. I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> But you are the funniest person we've had on the show. I was stunned. I mean, flat out, completely stunned. That was just the nicest thing that's like ever happened to me, pretty much, I think. Aww. It's been like a, it's a dream come true. I knew right then and there that I could keep going. The minute you walk on, you've got this great energy and you are naturally funny. And there's always rejection but there isn't any tonight. <laughs> you know, every round I got through made me stronger. I have a crush on you, and I want Ooh. to take you for a, what do you call it, a grand slam at Denny's? Yes, or? sir, yes. Denny's. Vicky Barbala! When I got into finals, I mean, it all of a sudden meant that I, I was who I hoped I was, and that I wasn't invisible, that I was funny. I wish everybody could have that moment, because it just fills you up. See, these are happy tears. The act leaving the competition is Vicky Barbalak. All of a sudden, it just rose up in me that I did really want this to happen. When I found out I was getting on Champions, I couldn't believe it. And I was just bowled over. And then I was told that I was competing against Preacher Lawson. I'm not even going to go there in my brain. I'm a huge fan of his comedy. but. I am here to prove that I am a champion. This is more important than being on America's Got Talent. Here we go, gang, here we go. And I am going for the gold. Trailer Nasty! Trailer Nasty! 
Congratulations on all your success. We were driving through Vegas and we see your face on billboards now. Wanted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him you found me, man. <laughs> Vicky, I just want to ask one question. Many times things happen in life and you don't win. And then the following day you go, what would I have done differently? I'm curious to see what you would have done with all that knowledge you know. All right, have. I'll be right back. <laughs> Going? <laughs> That's it. This is what she would have done differently. Hold on. Dante and Jay, don't leave home without them, ladies. Some trailer nasty action right there. So I just bought the second best trailer in my trailer park. Yeah! <laughs> right? I've been wanting it for years. Now that I'm on AGT, I got a tour, I could buy it, and I bought it. Thank you. Thank you. And my trailer is on the tippy top of the hill. And I look down on all the other trailers. Yeah. I know, now I know what it feels like to be a Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you, Simon. <laughs> so I think I gotta buy a second trailer in LA. Yeah, because I'm here so much. I'm going around these fancy streets in LA. I'm walking down Rodeo Drive. <laughs> and there's these skinny, rich people walking their dogs. So annoying. They're all, it's a rescue. It's a rescue. It's a rescue, I rescued it. I'm like, of course it's a rescue. That's a hideous looking dog. <laughs> Gary Busey is more attractive than that dog, okay? Oh, oh, I mean, oh. like, you know how they say people look like their dogs? I don't want to look like my dog, okay? I want a beautiful dog, okay? You know? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about LA, I'm thinking maybe I'll get me a little celebrity dog. So I go to Beverly Hills to the fancy shelter, right? And this dog was so pretty, it had long blonde fur, and it actually barked with a French accent. Woof, woof, right? <laughs> but as soon as these shelter people found out that I lived in a trailer, they're not giving me that dog, you know? No, they're like, you know, Vicky, a dog is a very expensive responsibility. Could get in an accident, that could cost upwards of $5,000. Are you prepared to pay that, Vicky? I'm like, no, you know? <laughs> well, you know, Vicky, you have to think of it as if it was your daughter. You know, if your daughter was in an accident. I'm like, if my daughter was involved in an accident, God forbid, I would have to sit her down and say, Lily, you're gonna have to limp a little. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. We all love you and we want you to do well, so good oh, luck. Love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have you seen Taylor before? I haven't, no. He's a funny guy. Is he? Very funny That's guy. That's his act, isn't it? Being funny. Yeah. That's his act, <laughs> being funny. I'm sorry, before I start my act, I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite things that happened to me from being on America's Got Talent. Is that Heidi? Oh, what in the world? Yeah, and then there was that. Heidi, if you're nice to me, maybe we can do that again sometime. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> for real, though, you never know what's coming at you around the corner of life. Take me, for example. A few years ago, nobody knew who I was, right? Now, I make more money doing comedy than Bill Cosby. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> laughter, I love laughter so much. It's my favorite thing in the world because it brings all of us together, you know? Like, we're, we're way too divided right now here in this country. So many people are upset about like, Immigrants coming here, taking work away from people who are born and raised here in the USA, you know? You know oh my God, you know what I just realized? The foreigners are all mad about who are taking all the jobs or the judges from America's Got Talent.
Because they're from other countries. All right, um, <laughs> I just got back from performing in uh, South Dakota. And I was doing a show in this little town with no diversity at all. And uh, I went up to the, the promoter of the event before the show started. I was like, hey, I talk about uh, being Jewish in my routine. I just want to make sure the audience can relate to my material. material. So uh, before I do my act, I was wondering, do you guys have Jewish people here in town? And he was like, no, say whatever you want. And I was like, that's not what I meant. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I'm really cool now. <laughs> you know you're cool if you have to announce it. I'm really cool. Um, <laughs> I was at a bar talking to this girl. Things are going great. I'm really cool, you know. And uh, I was like, we've been talking so long. I never got your name. Oh my god, what was your name? And then, uh, and then she was like, Sharon. And then I was like, oh my god, that's my mom's name. No. <laughs> right. No. Ugh. And I was like, Sharon, we're both mature adults. We're probably doing some cool stuff later, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just you know, when we do that, I can't call you that because that's gonna be weird for me, okay? Uh, so instead, I have to call you mom. <laughs> that joke hurts me more than it hurts you. I assure you. All right, my name is Taylor Williamson. Thank you for laughing at my jokes. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's really tough to be a comedian on America's Got Talent, right? Yeah, super tough for some people. Not me! <laughs> Not me! No, I'm just playing, all right, yeah, it is. My name is Preacher Lawson, I'm 27, and I was a part of season 12 of America's Got Talent. What do you do for a living? I'm a stand-up comedian, which means I'm unemployed and I do stand-up on the side. I let the blessings rain down! I think you are unbelievably talented, and I think this could be your time. Thank you so much! To hear all the judges be like, we love you, that was a good feeling, because I was like, Pfft. I'm about to win it! Darcy Lay! And then I was wrong, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's okay. 12 year old ventriloquist. Before I was on America's Got Talent, it was really hard to get gigs. I would go to a lot of open mics and I would be there for hours and I wouldn't even get on stage. At one point, I was so broke, I had negative $14.87 in my bank account. I'll never forget that number. I'll never forget that number. Now, since being on the show, I sold out every comedy club I've ever been to, and I'm not broke anymore. <laughs> Let's roll, Hollywood. Oh, I'm Hollywood now? I'll show you Hollywood. After America's Got Talent, I got both my brothers out to LA. Growing up, things were super rough. My family squeezed sleeping cars, but my brothers always had my back. So now, it was really cool to return the favor, and if I'm not broke, we all ain't broke. Did it go in? Nah, man. Nice try, though, Hollywood. America's Got Talent changed my life, and it's helped me provide a better life for my whole family. So when they called me to be a part of this show, man, it was crazy. I had butterflies all over again. I definitely want to prove to people that I've gotten better. And I mean, it's a, a second chance to win. Yay! I am ready to do this. <laughs> Rachel Lawson, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. So what's been going on with you since we last saw you? Uh, lots of stuff. I've been touring and stuff, you know, because of y'all, you know, people know me now. That's pretty cool. Good. Yeah. Yeah. How's your family life? How's all that working out oh, for you? Oh, they love my money, so it's all good, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. I mean, I remember when I, <laughs> before the show, I crashed my mom's car, and she was like, pay me back when you start making some money, and I got to pay her back, so that's pretty cool. Very excited. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And if my memory is um, good today, you have a son, that's correct? I have, right? a, I have a son? No. You have a, no. Okay, you have a son. No, I don't have any kids at all. <laughs> No, Where did you just, even get that from? Wait, no, 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 let me get this Do you this want correct. me to have a son? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do? That we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you my number after the show. <laughs> oh, this dude is hilarious. Go for it, preacher. I don't want to ask you any more questions because I'm getting it all wrong, but I'm so glad that you're here and I can't wait to have a good belly laugh. Yeah. Go on. How are you feeling? I'm, I can't wait to watch him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's going to kill it. I know it. All right. A uh, little about myself, I'm a vegan. Yes, I'm a vegan, which means I don't, yeah. All right, thank you, three vegans. All right, I appreciate it. 
<laughs> so a vegan, we don't eat animals, we don't eat meat or whatever, and the reason I decided to be a vegan is because I had a dog and I fell in love with my dog, and I was like, I can't eat my dog, you know, I can't, <laughs> can't do it. And I know most of us don't eat our dogs, you know? But we eat pigs, and guess what? Pigs are smarter than dogs. Pigs are smarter than chimpanzees. They're just ugly. And you can't eat something just because it's ugly, because if that's the case, some of y'all looking tasty tonight, all right? That's, <laughs> I'm being real, all right? And I know what some of y'all are thinking. A black vegan, he must be married to a white girl. Psych, we broke up. So uh, that's not true <laughs> at all. Nice try. Yes. My ex is white, all right? I did it one white girl, which is annoying, because I went black, black, blackity black, Puerto Rican black, white, and everyone was like, I knew it! Like I came out of the closet or something. <laughs> they was like, I knew you like avocado, quinoa, and salt and vinegar chips. I don't even know what that means, okay? <laughs> Have no idea what that is. White women are my type. I just happen to live next to Trader Joe's. Like, it's not something <laughs> I'm searching for, you know? Different dating a white girl, especially as a black man, super different dating, it's different kissing a white girl. Because white women, have white makeup. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got a black face, okay? So, kind of like making out with a powdered donut, you know? Like it just gets all over your face. When I looked in the mirror, I thought I was turning white. I was like, she got it on me! Some black people look at me, they get mad. They're like, you had a white girlfriend? You can't get a black queen? You don't like being black? Are you kidding me? I love being black so much that I got a white girlfriend so I can make her baby black. I was trying to take over, huh? Yeah, I was doing it for us. Wakanda forever. That's my plan. My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Thank you. No word of a lie. If I would have kept hold of that golden buzzer, it would have been yours, brother, right Ooh, now. Thank I you. swear to God. Thank you. My cheeks are hurting. Everything, everything. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Oh God, Heidi. I think you were on fire today, and yes. I do remember you from the past. But I think today you really, really brought everything. Thank you. You really got fantastic. And are those jeggings, by the way? Are these jeggings? Uh, no, they're not. I mean, they're tight. I know they're tight, but <laughs> no. Uh, I just it's say, just for my booty to pop. No, I Bam! See you see that? Yeah. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. 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 I got it. All good. I got it. It's man to the natural. Howie. There aren't even words to describe how good I believe you are. I think you're a superstar. I think every dream you have should come true. This is a champion right here. Thank you. Right on. Simon. Breach, I tell you what this reminded me of. I run a record label, and sometimes you put a single out, and it's a hit. And then the next year, you put a second single out, and it becomes a bigger hit. This is how I feel about you just now, is that you were great before. Tonight, you were fantastic. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Yes. Let's get these super fans to vote for you. Vote for me. They got you. Yes. Now let's do the chest thing. Oh, we got. Uh, what? Uh, 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 How many other contestants do that? Like? <laughs> I know exactly what he's talking about about the makeup. When I was with Seal, it was the same thing. He always had wise everywhere here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All of y'all. Thank you so much. And I did that sober. That's crazy. Nah. <laughs> Yes, I'm excited, man. I don't, uh, I do most things so. I don't really drink. I don't like the way alcohol tastes. <laughs> Everybody know alcohol nasty. I know this because I've never seen anybody take a shot and not slap a table. That's how I know. <laughs> you ever see someone's face when they take a shot? They just, yeah! Why are you doing that? <sighs> it just makes you dizzy. Like, if you can't afford alcohol, just start spinning in circles. That's all you need to do. What you doing, girl? You know I don't get paid till Friday. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to keep up with y'all. <laughs> Stand-up comedy's pretty cool. It's the, one of the only jobs you can drink and, uh, and work. My last job, I could do that as well. My last job was great. 
I made a lot of money. I got to choose my hours. It was a great job. It's pros and cons of drug dealing, but for the most part, like, I, <laughs> I did so well, you know? I just did great. The job before that, I used to work at a gym, you know? It's funny, when you work at a gym, you notice things, right? Like, you notice that men that go to the gym, men only work out their upper body, right? Because they're dumb. They're like, <laughs> they're like oh, I want to get buff. I'm like, that's cool, bro. But leg day, right? <laughs> Got all these men walking around, body shaped like the letter T. Like, you look dumb. You belong on Sesame Street. That's where you belong. That's... <laughs> Today's word is testosterone. Who I go? Like, that's where you belong. Women do the exact opposite, because women want a big booty, but they don't want to get buff, right? So you got all these women walking around, body shaped like a T-Rex, thinking they fine, like, hi. No. Look like a really attractive ostrich right now. That's what you look like. <laughs> women are so afraid of getting buff. They are so afraid, you know? You got men in the gym trying so hard to get buff, and they can't, they can't get bigger. Women think they just gonna pick up one dumbbell. <laughs> just one, like, hey. <laughs> what does dumbbell do, hmm? I just wanna pick it up and see what it does, okay? I just, just wanna pick it up and see what it does. That's all I wanna do, okay? I just wanna see what it does! <laughs> Katrina man! Y'all right, better laugh at that joke. It cost me $6.95, man. <laughs> My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Preacher Lawson! I thought you were gonna put me your shirt on. <laughs> um, you know that I'm a fan of yours. You are just funny. Just no, no matter what you say, how you say, you could be saying anything, and I'd be laughing and screaming with happiness and joy and awe. Oh, go to the next person. <laughs> I'm going to the next person. Keep talking. I don't mind. Simon, I don't Simon, like... Simon, what do you think? I felt tonight I wasn't looking at a competition, I felt genuinely I was just watching a star. Yeah. It's as simple as that. No, really, I really mean that, Preacher. Thank you. Everything about you has got better. Um, and that's and his what... body got better. And you <laughs> talking about. And what you talking about? Hey, look at these muscles. Thank you. And you are brilliant. Thank you. Howie. You give us everything. You know, there are funny physical comedians, there are funny verbal comedians, there's great storytellers. You are all those in one. And that's why we love you. And I think the people that represent each of the 50 states are talking about you right now. And I'm so proud that a comedian has made it this far. Yes. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Preacher, that wasn't worth Ripping off your clothes. Oh, it was worth, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Even if they didn't clothes. laugh, I wanted to rip out my clothes. All right? I, just, I just wanted to show I did my homework. That's all I did. Yeah, I, I know I the feeling. I you. know the I feeling. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck tonight, Preacher. Please so make much. some noise for shirtless Preacher Lawson. Who beat you is here tonight. Yes. How do you feel about that? It's I mean, a rematch. It is. It is a little bit of a rematch. Gutsy coming back. What? Gutsy. Hi, hi, everybody. Hello. So you were the runner-up in 2015. What yeah. have you been up to since we last saw you? America's Got Talent. It, it, like it built such a platform for me in a way that was, you know, more than just me getting to, to, to do comedy. I'm giving people a voice who, you know, have to overcome a daily obstacle. The show taught me that that was, 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 was my talent. It's, it's to continue to overcome adversity. Well said. Very well said. My name is Drew Lynch. I'm, I'm, I'm 27. I'm from in Indianapolis, and I'm a comedian. I am the runner-up from uh, season 10, 2015. I, uh, I, have a, I, have a, I have a stutter. That's what, that's, that's what that is. About, about seven years ago, I was playing on a softball team. A, a grounder had blunted me in the, in the throat. 
So I went home and I went to sleep and then I woke up the next day with this, with this, with this speech impediment. My whole life changed from there. And I, 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 I won't always have a stutter. To not be able to communicate with people the same way felt very like this is, this is the end. You can only hang your head for, 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 for so long before you have to pull yourself up. And that's how, that's how my comedy career began. I want the gig to, to where be, people start, start to use my, my, my voice as, as, as the voice of their G, G, GPS. For someone to say, hey, I believe in you. When up to that moment, I really hadn't. I, In, in, in the final, when it was down to Paul Zerden and I on, on stage, I've never felt that level of that, that level of pressure. I wanted to win so, so badly. A comedian had, had, had never won before. Paul Zerden! When it didn't, that was pretty devastating. I will never forget coming in second. Of our, on our show, we're the only we're the only winner and runner up from yeah. this, from from the same season. Yeah. So it's like it's like a it's like a rematch almost. When America's Got Talent, the champions asked me to come back and do, do, do the show. I was, so, I was so excited to get to go up against Paul again. Here's, here's, here's an opportunity to prove myself. Let me try to pro propel myself that much further. Let me put me to the test. I'm not ready to stop. This, this, this is just the beginning. It's, it's a lot of pressure, but I've been pre pre preparing as hard as I can. And this time, I want the title winner. America's Got, got Talent, the champions, Drew Lynch. Uh, when you were on the show last time, you came second. Have you come up with something new that now makes you think you could win this show? Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking puppets. Uh... <laughs> that works. <laughs> OK, good luck. We feel that he's really gunning for the winning spot this time. <clears throat> so we can all raise our game, aren't we, Zerdin? That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hello, hi, thank you. How is, how is, how is everybody? Very good. I love per, per, per performing. Um, you know, some people, sometimes they find my stand-up to be a little, little, a little jarring because, uh, because, uh, because I stutter, but I prefer to think that you're, you're getting the joke and, and, and also the, the remix. So even if you hear a joke that's, that's, that's not for you, you can be like, well, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't like the lyrics to, to, to that one, but it, but it, but it had a good beat. <laughs> <laughs> As if there is not enough wrong with, 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 with my mouth, I also wear um, 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 Invisalign, the, the, uh, the, the invisible braces, yeah. or, 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 or as I like to call it, a grill for, for, for white people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just rapping on, 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 on the hood of my Prius. <laughs> yeah. uh, av, 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 avocado toast. Um, I don't know. Uh, what I realize is, is when you lose your Invisalign at, 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 at say, like a restaurant, and you go back, you sound like a, a crazy person. <laughs> like, I went back to the restaurant, uh, and, 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 and in a frenzy, I said to the waitress, I was like, hi, hi, I, 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 I just ate here, and I, I think I lost my Invisalign. She's like, I didn't see you wearing a, a, a retainer. And I was like, well, you, you can't see it. <laughs> it, it it's invisible. <laughs> have, you, have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> so glad you guys uh, got, got, got that joke. But uh, you know, even if you didn't, it, 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 it still had a good beat. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Hey, thanks. Oh, you're too, too, too sweet. Standing ovation. Yeah, that's, that's a good sign. Mm. For him, mm. not for us. Mm. Drew, I'm really angry at you. I'm really angry at you. That was too short. <laughs> I wanted more, more and more and more. You are so funny and so quick. Ah. I just love you. I love everything about you. Heidi, what did you think? Well, there's only a few comedians that I really, really love, and you are definitely 
or one of them. I really, really love you. I mean, that was hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Simon, what did you think? For me, it wasn't the best performance we've seen you do, but you have inspired so many people, and you're a great guy, you're really funny, and I really respect you. So well done. Thank you. Drew, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. You are not only a great entertainer, but a great spokesperson and a great example. And I gotta tell you something, you have grown by leaps and bounds and you are truly a professional, truly a champion. I hope that all the 50 states are looking at you because you surely deserve to be in the finals. I love you, buddy. Thank, thank, thank you, Howie. Thank, thank, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. See, that makes me laugh. Yeah, that I makes know. me pop up a little. I I'd like to see him in the final. Yeah. Great job, Drew. We will see you later on tonight. So you have nobody to work with? Nah, but I, th I think we'd be a great team. You want to be part of Deadly Games? Yeah. You sure? Oh, 100%. Let's do it. OK. Anya, please. I'll show you how it's done, and then you go. OK, cool. All right? Oh, I can, yeah, easy. I can do that. Are you sure? I'm possible, yeah. I can, I can do this. I throw stuff in the trash all the time. You sure? Oh, yeah. I got it. All right. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. What was that? That was what I was aiming for. Oh, really? What's up, Darcy? Hey. I'm looking for a partner, you know? Maybe we can do something. You do ventriloquism? What? Oh, do I? <laughs> Bam! That wasn't even me who said that. Is that a sock? No, it's not. <gasps> it's a sock. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, You're moving your mouth. Along. Come on. You can do better. Why are you being me? You're still moving your mouth. <laughs> You don't even know what I'm talking about now. This is never gonna work. Awkward. Come, look, hey, Paul, come on. I'm trying to tell you, it'll be great. It'll be, it'll be perfect. Listen, man, listen. It'll be, I, we can be a team. Come on, Paul, please, please. I'm trying to tell you, man. We can, we can do this, I promise you. We just don't have time to rehearse. I can't do a duet and rehearse. It just look, wouldn't. Well, how about we rehearse right now? Uh -huh. I'd stick to comedy. Like, like comedy singing? Is this your car? No. Is this your car? Preacher, this is exhausting. For the ninth time, no. Okay. It's not? It's not my card. Okay. Shin, check your pocket. That's still not my card. Huh. I picked the jack of hearts. Tell you what. Check your pocket, Preacher. No way. No. Get out of here. My pocket? Shut up! That's a jack of... Shut up! That is crazy! We, we can do this! I am magic! I told you I know how to do magic! We can be a team! Do you, is that enough? No. no. Yo, hear me out, okay? You and I will be a great team. I'm looking for a partner. I think we'd be perfect. What do you think? Ah, Preacher, look, I'm the host, okay? I mean, look, I don't even think I'm allowed to do anything like this. I mean, how fair would it be to all the other contestants, man? Like... That's what I'm saying, it's not even fair. The team we got that's going down, check this out. Right here, that's, that's you, right here, and then the P is me, the T, that's you. And then we come right here, right? And then, right here, we gonna start, this is a dance move, right? This right here is a bird, right? Ha! And then you're gonna sing, right? So this is us singing. This is your muscles. Now you got big muscles, because everybody like your muscles. That's we make really sure cool. we never get access, <laughs> right? We get stars, because we are stars together. And these dots represent where we're gonna be on stage. We're gonna be everywhere. So what do you think? Better. I changed my mind! Ah! 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 Hey YouTube, what's happening? Click below to subscribe because there's so much more talent.